Hi, this is Justin Aquilanti, ESA Sales Director, here today with Terry Judge, CEO of Hot Start Thermal Management. Terry, welcome. Thank you. Great to be here. Terry, tell us, who is Hot Start Thermal Management? Well, we've been around a long time. Uh, next year will be 80 years. And uh, so um, we've been owned by the same family, great family owners since 1942. Uh, we started our thermal management journey back then by engineering and manufacturing a electric powered system that heated and circulated the coolant in a school bus engine so it didn't have to idle and it could be easily started and, and, and clean start. And so uh, fast forward to today and we're working with buses today that are powered by lithium ion batteries. Um, lithium ion batteries are very temperature sensitive. And so we've engineered and manufactured thermal management systems uh, for those batteries to keep them in their sweet spot, in the temperature band to optimize performance. Um, stationary power applications are an even bigger focus of ours. Uh, example is, uh, backup generators. And so we've engineered and manufactured thermal management systems for backup generators that are used in data centers. And uh, the growth in data centers has been enormous as we all do more E everything these days. And data centers are so critical for 100% uptime and maximum energy efficiency. So we've really grown. We're up to almost 200 employees uh, we have offices in Europe and Asia. Um, we've, our headquarters has always been here in Spokane, Washington, and that's where we do the majority of our engineering and manufacturing. Terry, what role do you serve in the energy storage industry? Well, in general, Hot Start loves to work with partners, uh, collaborating, working together to advance the energy storage industry. Uh, partners such as system integrators, utilities, uh, battery manufacturers, uh, engineering uh, companies, consultants, uh, research institutions, all in the greater good of advancing the industry. From a product standpoint, uh, battery energy storage systems are made of subsystems such as a BMS, battery management system. Well, TMS is our focus and TMS is just as important as a BMS. So that's, that's our product focus is the TMS, the, the thermal management system, and even more specifically, liquid thermal management systems. Terry, what are the main differences between HVAC thermal management and liquid thermal management? HVAC, um, air cooling, um, that's traditional um, use in energy storage systems. Um, installing HVAC air conditioners on the sides or tops of containers or cabinets, uh, blowing air inside the space and, and conditioning that air inside the space. Um, in general, that's uh, traditionally HVAC and how it operates. Uh, liquid thermal management is actually getting close up and personal with the batteries, the modules um, with heat transfer plates and liquid cooling that integrates to those plates to pull the heat out of the batteries and circulate a glycol mixture back to a liquid thermal management system that's keeping that liquid at, at just the right temperature and providing more uniform cell temperature and uh, lower parasitic load. Terry, if most systems are HVAC, why should customers specify liquid thermal management instead? So I think this would be fun to talk about with a couple of analogies and then the real application energy storage. First uh, analogy, um, as we fly into Phoenix, uh, the home of our ESA conference, and uh, look out the window, we see a lot of swimming pools in people's backyards. And why is that? Well, it's hot in Phoenix, obviously. And as we get hot, it feels really good to get into a swimming pool and experience liquid cooling 
uh, as opposed to being out in ambient temperature with just a fan blowing. So that's one fun analogy. Second analogy, um, EVs, electric vehicles. As we've seen them advance and develop, we see today most EVs are liquid cooled uh, for their lithium ion batteries and, and not air cooled. Um, that's pretty direct correlation with the energy storage application we we'll talk about next uh, because they also use lithium ion batteries and have similar uh, temperature thermal management uh, requirements. And so um, the industry is, is, is still using a lot of HVAC today because I don't think there's a lot of really good data out there and case studies to, to show the industry that liquid thermal management is better, but it's coming. And so um, there has been a third party uh, test lab do some side-by-side -side testing recently. Um, and it was shown um, air cooled versus liquid cooling on a energy storage system, liquid thermal management performed better. It provided more uniform cell temperature and less parasitic load. Less parasitic load is less power draw, uh, less money on that end, um, your operating costs, um, and then more uniform cell temperature, keeping those batteries, each one of them in their sweet spot, um, helps with a uh, state of charge that the BMS doesn't need to derate the batteries. You can open up the capacity and allow more state of charge to be fully utilized on the batteries. Um, also, the batteries aren't degrading. Um, they're not getting outside that temperature band and degrading, which affects the life of the battery. So you're, you're getting longer battery life now. So I think as more of this data gets produced in the industry and, and there's more uh, knowledge, um, we'll see uh, an evolution of, of going from HVAC to uh, liquid thermal management. Terry, last question. Anything else you'd like to share with our viewers? Well, like all of us, um, just really excited about the energy storage industry and its future. It's, it's very bright and love working together, love collaborating with, with other folks and other companies. So I'd love to meet you. Please stop by our booth at the ESA show and uh, see our system, our liquid thermal management system, speak with our engineers. And uh, let's see if we can advance the energy storage industry together. Terry, thanks for joining me here today. I want to recap a couple key takeaways that we heard during this interview. Number one, fascinating history of a family-owned business since 1942 and still growing. Number two, very unique product focused on liquid thermal management versus traditional HVAC systems. And lastly, the industry is advancing and Hot Start Thermal Management is positioned to help push it forward with great engineers. Thanks again for taking the time to sit with me today. Look forward to speaking with you in the future. Thanks. See you at the conference. Bye.